why do we say acro is so much more than just a sport? These four simple letters that mean friendship, trust, respect and companionship. These letters that imply hard work, extreme amounts of hours of practice and really, really complex coordination skills between partners, between human beings. And that is why, in my opinion, it is the ultimate sport. The great John Wooden, for many the greatest coach that ever lived, coined a definition of success that is as beautiful as simple. He stated that success should imply the peace of mind we feel when we give our best. Because truthfully, no one can give more than his best. And this is so simple, but so powerful, isn't it? And that's the reason for these videos. The hugs and the kisses, they happen on the floor. They happen right after the routine, before the kiss and cry, not after the score. They happen before all that, for all the effort and that resulted in success. And that's why we change the kiss and cry to did our best area. And that is why we think that success must be in every step of the way. And this is what we're gonna try to develop in this presentation because we think success must be the measure of our effort. Acro is probably the epitome of this quote. As a coach, I realized that it's in our hands to provide our gymnasts the tools for, for success, for individual and team success. And how do you reach it? Well, if you remember that is a measure of our effort, it's rather easy. You start simple, you start with enthusiasm, with joy, with happiness, with smiles. And then you had the hard work, you had determination. And that's everything you want to put in on the sport, on everyday practice. And then you cook everything with love. And maybe success means a lot of things, but to me, it means a huge degree of autonomy. Like with our children, our goals as parents is that eventually they live their life. They have a family of their own. As a coach, I think our job is to give them the tools to find their way, to guide them while they need, and then let them find the way that suits them most. Provide them the wings and the teaching, and then let them fly. Wonderful things will happen. Creativity will happen and will rise. One of the mo most interesting features in our sport is it's that we don't have a specific morphotype. To have success, many sports, they need specific body shapes. In acro, we need them all. We need the tall, we need the short, we need the slim, we need the bulky, and then we need everything in the middle. You know, it's talking about an inclusive, an inclusive sport, it's this one. And this is such a rich and out of the box thing that we can choose what's best skill for each gymnast, for each body, for each partnership, for each physical and even psychological profile. We have no boundaries except the ones that guide our safeguard issues that are imprinted in, in the code of points. And with that, despite the shapes, the sizes, the ages, they can make themselves champions, even when their bodies aren't suitable in other gymnastics and that is a, a unique feature we have in acro and it's the first one i'm gonna to highlight here today and this is an amazing example it's probably the only picture i i have in all the presentation and it's the men pair um podium in the last world championship igor mishev the the base the top from the russia uh, men pair, same height as Charlie Tate, the base from the British men pair. How wonderful is this? You know, it's such an amazing thing we have in Acro. But how do we get here? How do we get to the champions? How do we achieve the highest level? Well, again, three ingredients. Enthusiasm is the first. This is the first one. It's the joy the joy that will drive us, that motivate and inspire those around us. If you imagine we are cooking, this will be the pan, you know, the recipient where we are going to prepare our dish. Then comes determination. 
meaning to do what is needed to do, determination to work hard. This is the actual food, you know, it's the raw food, uncooked. Uh, it represents the hard work, the hours of training, all the effort that we are willing to put in the sport day after day, hour after hour. And then, and only then, it will come the final ingredient. Again, it's if you think as a dish, it will be the haven, okay? Where we will heat everything. And that ingredient, that final ingredient is love. And, and you know, without love, everything is hard. And with love, anything becomes possible. It, it's, it's where we are going to prepare our meal. It will heat everything. And like these three little girls carrying this mat, if you have all the three ingredients, you are set to success. If you lack one of it, you'll go for a while, but you'll not endure. You may be good, but you'll never be at your best because these three ingredients, they work together, each rising in specific moments of the gymnast career. Like in life, these ingredients grow in us and they grow with us, you know, they mature with us. And that is why some of the, of the next videos you'll see are some first steps in acro of some gymnasts and they're blossomed through time. Small videos that show they're growing from the just having fun and enthusiasm to love with a lot of determination. Meanwhile, with hard work. Like this boy here, this front angel is exactly the same boy here many years later. Or this bass doing the toe pitch, same competition, many years later, same bass. And why do I decide to show these videos? You know, because you can't tell the exact moment, the specific moment you fell in love with someone. It's a process. It's not instantaneous. Love will grow on us, you know? And that's why we try to ignite the sparkle every training. You see, well, this, this shot I show you now from this small clip of Corey of, of this man bear is how wonderful it is to pass the love. And I realized that we have a small uh, man bear at the gym doing the exact same choreo line from the beginning. And I, I needed to record it because it is so nice to see this that more than 10 years later, you know, the, the, the things are passing generation through generation. Well, not yet perfect, but one day it will be amazing, you know? And as I say, love will grow based on the little things that happen, based on the small leaps of successful moments or actions. And one day you look at yourself and everything has changed. You can't live without that person. You can't live without that sport. And I, I, I often give the, the, the same example. My sister, she was a pianist, good one. I play the piano. There's a big difference here. On the other hand, she did gymnastics and I'm a gymnast. There's a big, big, big difference. You need the three ingredients all together. And love may not be the first, it will not be, but it's the last to appear. Rest assured, it may be forever. And we have that power to ignite, to show the path, to ignite the sparkle on, on our gymnasts. And, you know, this, these young kids, just kids having, you know, playing gymnastics, learning the basics. We ignite the sparkle every day. We show them the way. We lift the ladder to them. And we adapt everything to their level, to their own level, so we can provide them the success uh, they need. It's just a measure of our effort. And sometimes you may think, well, with all of this, there's no failure. Well, there is failure. They need to fail. It's the most important part of the process. Because we will fail in life, like in sports. Everyone fails. It's normal. It's dealing with the failure at everyday basis and coping with it that will make them grow. These lads here had a huge set that set back in front of their own crowd. And, you know, it's a short story. The worlds were just 40 days ahead and they overcome, they endure, they fight back. Enthusiasm, determination, meaning a lot of routines and love. And, you know, 
when you see this routine, this final routine in the World Championship, and you realize that all the joy, all these hugs, you know, they happened before the score, happened before they even knew what place they were, they were a consequence of peace of mind, the one that leads to success. But, you know, this has nothing to do with failure, this has to do with enthusiasm and little bursts of success. Like this young top that flourish if she endures and becomes a base. And here she is now. And that is the magic of agro. We adapt their development to their own rhythm and they will grow, eventually they will grow. And here she is again, doing the same slight split with another layer of complexity many years later. Let us be there for them, helping them in that transition. Like this young top, you know, let us be there to see them increase the complexity of their skills. And here she is again, now as a base in their first competition. There are no ground rules. They don't need to do giants on the high bar or any special throw of the ribbon. You know, as far as they perform with flawless technique, sky is the limit. Here she is again, same base, same slide to split, like this top, you know, apparently same element with another layer of complexity. And that's one amazing feature in Acro. We are not limited by apparatus of any kind. We perform exclusively with the interaction of our bodies. That is something rather unique. You know, there are kids more flexible than others. And although we can and we should improve their flexibility, we know they will not perform some elements naturally. And we train with them, but there are kids more natural on flexibility than others, but we, we will teach them, you know, to use their body types, their characteristics in their favor, their limb proportions, their fast, slow twitch fiber ratio, their morphology. We will guide them to manage success. And that is something rather unique in our sport. We can adapt to each body characteristic. We are not skill specific, you know? And there's one of the great things that present uh, this with Revas is that um, you see this boy here doing the tumbling, you know? And it's the same boy here now as a teenager probably you recognize him now for the choreo yeah it's Revas. and you know having fun in the first video enthusiasm having fun as he wrote to me when he sent it a bit more serious now in this routine with anna but you think how did he manage such a long and beautiful career enthusiasm determination and love is love all we need i think after a certain moment in sport Yes, love becomes everything, but it starts with enthusiasm, joy, happiness, smiles in little kids' faces, even behind the masks, you know? How you get that? Well, little achievements, the best coaching we can give them and trust. Acro is the ultimate sport that provides all of that. We cannot replace a teammate during a competition, and that is one of the hardest things we have. It is so much skill specific that you know, uh, uh, according to our own characteristics, is actually one of the most difficult things we have. We depend and rely on each other like we depend on ourselves. And that is, that is why it's so much difficult, for example, to assemble and work a man for. Their work is so special that it takes insurmountable amounts of time to consolidate all the learning, all the fine tuning, all the small coordination, the, the timings, the details that combine the strength of four men or four boys. And that is why it's also so beautiful. You know, just remember the video from Revaz, that amazing men four final from last world championships in Antwerp. And it's always like that. It's a show, not just there, you know, you see Acro having, you know, giving a show, giving a spectacle in most of the major human shows around the planet, Cirque du Soleil and so many others, like 
popular TV shows like Got Talent. There is acro amongst finalists, there's acro amongst winners, because people understand what they see. They don't need complex rules, they don't need uh, no, no one to tell them what they are doing. They vote, they spend money because they like what they see. And we acrobats, we know how to do the show, you know? So, you realize that in the end of this string, of this long string, with enthusiasm to endure in difficult days, with determination to keep on thriving, you will find love. And to sum up some of the amazing facts of this sport, it is the ultimate sport because it combines, like no other, the best of individual and team sports. It's inclusive. We want all human beings, no matter the size of proportions, is performed with interaction with other people, no apparatus need, depend on the skill set and characteristics of each other. We have more than 10,000 elements, you know, that's something of variety in, in the sport. And it's based in trust and faith, trust in each other, faith in my fellow companion. And it's the ultimate spectacle in terms of human performance. We can delight audience of all ages around the world. Acro although is not yet an Olympic sport. But these are some of Acro unique features. It's not better or worse than any other sport. It's just different. It's how I see it. It's gymnastics, no question about it. And it's so much more than that. And that is why, Olympic or not, I just love it.